Arthritis in the hip is a, a degenerative uh, condition affecting the cartilage that lines the joint. So this wears out uh, either age-related or, or from previous trauma. Um, people with arthritis in the hip usually complain of pain, particularly on mobilising. Usually it's around the groin area but can present with lateral thigh pain, uh, buttock pain, can extend down the leg. Most people walking distances are limited by the, the pain that they're experiencing and also it can wake you at night. Ultimately the best treatment for hip arthritis, particularly if it's significant and the symptoms warrant it, is hip replacement surgery. So hip replacement uh, usually involves a two to three day stay in hospital. It involves an operation either with general anaesthetic or spinal anaesthetic and patients often require some sedation for the surgery. The operation um, involves dislocating the hip, removing the worn out sections of the hip and replacing them with a metal and plastic or ceramic version of their hip joint. They're then sewn back up again um, and then um, back to the ward. Here at Kim's, we um, instigate an enhanced recovery program. So the idea is that we use the physiotherapists uh, and the nurses on the ward to get patients mobile, preferably on the day of surgery, and, and hopefully get them home in two or three nights following the surgery. Most people recover very well and very quickly from, from hip replacement surgery. Um, it is an operation and therefore there is some pain associated with uh, the operation itself. However, a lot of patients just say that it's a different pain to what they currently had, and in fact it's a pain that gradually improves and therefore they're pleased. Um, from the point of view of the hip, it is an artificial joint, and one of the few things we worry about following this operation is dislocation. So there are certain limitations, certainly uh, in the first six to 12 weeks, where we don't like people sitting on particularly low chairs, we don't like people twisting, crossing their legs. Uh, we often ask patients to lie on their backs at night to sleep and this is really just to try and reduce the risks of dislocation. As time goes by and the muscles and the tendons and, and ligaments around the hip joint repair themselves after the surgery, often you get feedback from your hip replacement and therefore you are able to do more of the normal activities that we used to. And most people by about six to nine months are often back doing everything that they did prior to the surgery and hopefully more because they don't suffer from the pain that they were experiencing.